hey, we're looking for a project manager. Uh, it's going to be in Midtown. It's close to home. Uh, it's going to be a highly sustainable project, and we're going to do a couple new and innovative things, and we think that you're going to be the right candidate for it. Uh, we talked that through and what that looks like and end up agreeing that that's going to be a good choice. I am a design architect. I like to kind of transform spaces. Um, I'm a workplace architect. My goal um, was working in the Bay Area is transforming um, buildings that are historic or in adaptive reuse and repurpose them. The design concept of the ground floor is to highlight an art gallery because the main concept of this building is how can this building tie to the community? How can DPR tie to the community? They're relocating to central Sacramento. We've been in Sacramento since 1990, since uh, DPR started as a company. We've had a look, an office here as well. Um, being a part of downtown and moving here is, I think, trying to get more closely knitted and really be a part of the fabric of the community. We're trying to create a much more personal connection uh, between us as a company and, and the community at large. We are a national contractor, but we like to maintain a local presence. We want to connect closer with our community, with our location, and connect closer with our clients uh, who are also located around here too. Enjoyment's one of our core values, and we knew locating to Midtown would open up new opportunities as opposed to the suburbs and Atomas that we had uh, for folks to walk to lunch for some more restaurants, uh, get together after work, walk down and catch a Kings game uh, and other local events in the area, which was very attractive. This has never been seen before. So I think people are looking to Midtown because on the one hand, it represents what's cool and vibrant about the city, but it also represents kind of change and development and kind of who's at the table and who is driving the changes to this really uh, meaningful neighborhood. There's people who come into a city to open their headquarters, to open another branch of their space, to open a brand new space who aren't from there or are from there and look to make their own footprint but don't recognize the community to which they're serving, right? And I think that that's a, a different approach than what DPR is doing, which is the opposite approach. It's when you take a step somewhere, it's acknowledging the space to which you're, you're stepping into and knowing that you wanna make that footprint, but also knowing that you wanna take into account everything around it. So it's like looking at local culture, looking at the community leaders, looking at who you're gonna serve, and that's the artist as well, and engaging with them in different levels on different ways. We didn't want to just buy something off the shelf, uh, that we wanted that to be a custom build, and we wanted to reach out to some local, a local fabricator to uh, be part of our project and us be part of the community. But I didn't really know where to go to find the right person. But when they told me that they were pairing with um, an art consultant, I got very excited and I was like, I have to be involved. Um, I want to make sure that we're highlighting the art and, and there was time at that time to kind of tweak a little bit of the architecture on the interior to accommodate the art. A lot of the things I've done have been more pop-up driven or kind of addressing short-term needs for a space, but it's been really awesome to remind myself just how impactful it is to work with uh, one space to tell the story, to impact the people who use it. This project's been years in the making, but we weren't added on today where you know we have this fully built space where everything's already you know planned and in place and immovable and we're just supposed to be ornaments sprinkled throughout. I think that what really makes a project successful is when it can be a collaboration where both sides can continue to make adjustments. When we came in, you know, almost a year ago, this building was under construction, but it was still an idea and it was still very malleable what it was going to become. I think it was a, a collaboration between DPR and Trey and Smith Group to really highlight the artists. And I, I'm beyond excited that we've got so many artists involvement. I'm a, you know, a big proponent of the arts and I am happy that we're showcasing the building. I think that what's really incredible about this project is it really shows an effective synergy between a corporate you know, office client, someone that no one's looking to for arts leadership and showing if they can take the time and take the you know resources and put them towards something that's really thoughtful and, and well-funded and exploratory that you can come up with something really incredible. And the collaboration that we've managed to accomplish here is I think a new template for the region. The building itself is really like a canvas for art where it's about showcasing the mass timber and the building materials. I think I was able to kind of just create a very textural space that the art really can shine. I would love to do many more of these projects with clients that really understand that with the proper backing and with the proper conversations and uh, 
and buy-in from the artist, you can really accomplish something incredible. What I think is really brave about this project and anybody who's working in this way is letting the, the artist have a say in the way things look and the way things are shaped. And you know, you, you can go back as, as many ages as you want. And as soon as you get 50, 100 years ago, you forget all the politicians' names, you forget all the civic leaders, you forget all the, you know, the construction companies and all of this stuff. And who's left is the artists, you know? And these are, these are who you walk through the halls of the museums and see. And so these are the people who are really shaping what's happening in cities 100, 200, 500 years from now. So for them to engage with people like myself or other artists and to give us a say in what things are gonna look like is to me what the future has to look like in order for it to be sustainable.